Okay, so we're going to do a little video today on uh, how to do color bands and keep the colors within the band. Also, how to maintain the edges and also split ply using multiple colors. In this case, I'm using three different colors, the magenta, a light teal, dark teal. All right, so um, I'm also doing, um, for your understanding, the colorway, okay, is exactly how I'm weaving it. So this band of pinks right here, or magentas, is, is actually 30 picks. That's what I'm doing here, I'm weaving this. This section right here was here. This section right here was here. So what I'm doing is following this one, now this one, and then back around. So, I want to talk about this one. 30 picks, I've got 27. So let me finish this till 30, 27. My last one here is 30. Now, this is a trick I've always done when I'm doing two picks. You see there's only two dark teals here. So I want to do that. Most people, I have changed my shed. This was down. Now I'm up. I have some scrap yarn here that I'm using for my two pick. Okay. Most weavers would would overlap this right here at the edge. Okay. Instead, this is the trick I do. All right. I'm going to overlap, splice it in the center. So I take my one pick, make sure I have enough for this to trail into the center. So this one's good. Now I need this one. Okay. Now, before I do this, we're going to split ply. This is a two ply. If you haven't done this, this is a great yarn to practice on. Notice I didn't start here because it'll just pull the twist this way. I'm going to start at the end. Open it up. If you pinch right here, then you can basically work yourself back. And what you want is these tails that I unplied to not have any zing in them. So there they are. Go ahead and do this side. And if you wonder how I've decided, I'm usually doing about four to five inches of tail. You can see I have two legs. That's the way I talk about it. Two legs. So I'm going to bring this in to the center. Center. This is what's hard to see. Okay. I want one of my legs here. And then I actually am going to move over at least three inches. Most people do overlaps that are real tiny. I do them very long to spread them out. All right, you can see where this is about three inches. I'm going to come in here. So there's a tail. Here's a tail. This side is going to come back in. However, I have this section right here that I did not cut. And you're saying, I wonder why. If you look here, I'm doing two picks, and then I have another six picks of this to go. So instead of having a splice, a splice, a splice, I'm going to continue with this color. Alright, so this is a trick I did before in another video, but we're going to rehash. The way you know what to do. This pink is going over. Magenta is going over, so therefore it has to go under this one. Alright, so with that said, under. See, it makes a loop. Now I'm able to take this one back through. You can see what it's doing. That's how I'm going to carry this up the side. My focus is not here. It's now on the overlap. 
So this one and this one needs partners. Okay, so I have one tail here. And then I have another tail here. So what I have is two tails. Most people are inclined weavers tend to put the two tails in the same slit. As soon as you weave this, they're going to open up. So you, what you want to do is to take and overlap these a little bit. If you don't, when you wash it, there's just going to be one thread. So I'm going to go over about three or four threads. And as you can see, there's a little overlap here. Now I need to overlap here. You can see I did this. One, two, three. You only want to do, you don't need to do a whole lot depending on, uh, this thread is very grippy, so it's going to grip itself. I check my edges. I check this. I've got my two. So when I beat this and change, I now have two picks, which are not overlapped anywhere here. So now I have six more picks. This is six. So once again, these that I did are going to get trimmed. I always weave a little bit so I don't cut my warp. So when I'm pulling on this, I can gently just gently It really looks like two picks. This makes a nice intersection right here. It doesn't mess up this part. It's a very clean two picks. Overlapping in the center does help. Okay. Now, this section here, I'm ending because I already have my six picks and I'm getting ready to change to this color. So here, I'm going to, this is my rule of thumb. Usually it's four inches not the two. And the reason I say that, now, instead of overlapping back in the next shed, I'm going to do it again on its side. So, this goes over two, in, you know, a couple of inches, four inches. I'm going to pull it out. Once again, unply. I have my two legs. Come back in with just one. So I have this leg and this leg. Take this one, not this one. You're going to have to grab the last thread. Otherwise, if I put this back in without doing that and pull, it's coming out. So you have to tether it. This is a trick. If you have done each warp thread in a hole here and here, if this is up, this is your last thread. If it is down, this is your last thread. I use that so I know that's my last thread. I'm not having to look at them. This is my last thread. Now, once again, when you're coming in, you don't want to you want to go past this tail. So in this case, I'm not pulling this hard, just looping it. These are, this is the small overlap, but yet this is really the whole overlap. So now you don't even see the buildup. It's right in this area. All right. Next color is my light green. Some people say, oh my goodness, she's not going back in the same shed. I alternate. I if I overlapped here, I'm going to switch to this side. So therefore, my edges are not building. What I'm doing is offsetting this point. So I overlapped here. This is the side now I'm on. The other thing is, is because this is the same color as this, it looks really good. So once again, four inches. I don't really measure that. I just know four inches. Come in here, you have two legs, 
pull one in. You need to make sure that this goes to here. If it doesn't, you need to give yourself some more room. Tail, grab the last thread because I know it's in that one. I'm going to finish this one in advance here just a second. I need room to do this section in here. After, after this one, this was only three picks, so there's my three. Put it in neutral. This will give me a chance. I can trim this one. Trim my two pinks. I do trim as I go so that I can count and look. So if we looked here, I did this square this square i did my two picks and then this one and this one now we're going to start on this and this is important because i'm not going to trim this one this one i'm going to learn to carry up the side this is really a hot mess in here in terms of the design but if we pay attention to what it is warped then we'll understand it so i'm going to advance first and then go to this side all right so i did my two picks of um, dark six picks of magenta then i did my three picks here and then I jump to this side. And if we look here, I have done 10 picks of the dark teal. All right. And as I did my 10 picks, I carried up the side from this. Remember, I didn't cut these two. And there's a reason because I'm getting ready to do every other one to do a log cabin or a color effect in this area here. The large, the biggest issue would be these two picks and that's what I want to show you next but I'm going to weave this show you how to do both of these again and then we'll do the pink all right so this was my last pick which was up now I'm doing a light please look at the edge so if this is up I'm going under so I'm going to do a light. Dark. Check your edges. Over. Under. So you have that scooping. Now, if we look carefully, light, dark, light, dark. Now I have two lights. Two lights is next. I'm just following what I have in my warp. Sometimes it's harder to see. You can come down here to a section down in here and see what it's doing. Light, dark, light, dark. There's my two lights. Now I'm flipping to dark. And then I'll do four picks and then I'm going to do that pink. So what that's done is did look like a little crosshatch. So these are vertical 
vertical horizontal horizontal that's what made that motif my next section is going to be two pinks do this the same way you did this one we're going to overlap in the center This side's the easiest, so I have nothing to mess with. This is what I've got to mess with, was these two threads. This one's easy. I'm going to split it. Bring a tail up. Come over some. Bring another tail. I'm going to beat that one just to make sure it looks good. This is going to be the hardest one here. All right, but I'm going to go ahead and do two tails. Before I do this one, I need to look at this because I've got three colors coming at it the same way. I'm going to work with this one first. That's my dark. All right, so I need to go over, under. So that one's carrying up the side that way. This one is my next one, okay, which is where the light one needs to do. So this one, to be able to catch it, it's going under, and then I have to go over this one. Just look at what the, what it's doing. You want them all to go up the side. So when this one turns in, this one gets carried. I had these already split. So one of the tails goes to here a little bit past. This is the hardest part of the whole thing, but it really makes you look at carrying up the side. So I've overlapped here, overlapped here, check my edges. Here, so now I have the two picks. My next color is light. So I did this, came to here, next color is light, dark, light, dark. Here's my light. Oh, so this one is over. I'm looking at my dark too. I want it to trail too. two picks. Now I'm going to do a light dark again. two lights. I didn't do this all the way across. I just wanted a small section of it. So that's why it challenges you to do this. All of these are pretty easy. This is kind of where you're going to use multiple shuttles. Once you get carrying up the side, it goes pretty quick with two shells. So 
So there's my dark here, and then it'll be my light. However, here is my last dark pick. I need to finish this one. If I don't finish this one, I have to carry it all the way to this side. So, make sure you don't continue because then you're going to have him hanging out. Four inches. Dark is done. Sometimes I've pulled him in a little bit this way when I'm ending a color. My two legs. You can take a dark. Make sure you grab the last thread. Tethered it. And if that went in too much, which it did, I'm going to fix it now. Now I need two, four, six, seven light greens. Now I'm really back to the easy part. One, two, This is four, five, six, Moving over. So I did this color, and my next color will be this one. Instead of over here, I'm going to come over here. That one drew in a little bit.